51 Pomeranian facts every owner should know. Number 1. The smallest member of the charming Spitz family of dogs, the Pomeranian, or simply Pom, is like a tiny fluff ball, typically weighing between 3 and 7 pounds, and standing 8 to 14 inches tall at the shoulder. Number 2. While Pomeranians weigh around 7 to 10 pounds today, they weren't always quite so small in size. They belong to the Spitz family of dogs, which includes the Alaskan Malamute and the American Eskimo dog. So Poms are believed to have descended from larger sled dogs in Iceland and once weighed up to 30 pounds. Number 3. Have you heard of the throwback Pom? Well, it's a rare and surprising phenomenon where a Pomeranian puppy is born resembling the breed's ancient Spitz ancestors. Typically, these throwbacks are pure white and can weigh over 20 pounds. Number 4. The name Pomeranian originates from northern European province of Pomerania where they were initially bred into a distinct breed. This region is recognized for the breeding that shaped the original Pomeranian dog type even though it's not the breed's exact birthplace. Number 5. These little dogs are characterized by the luxurious fur ruff around their chest and neck, along with their fox-like faces, upright triangular ears that point skyward, and tails that gracefully arch over their backs. Number 6. Originally, Pomeranians were mostly black, white, brown, and party colored. Nevertheless, selective dog breeding has expanded their color palette to include 23 different variations recognized by the American Kennel Club. These variations encompass colors like beaver, sable, chocolate, black, orange, white, and various combinations, with lavender being the rarest among them. Number 7. Have you ever heard of the blue Pomeranian? Well, it's one of the 23 recognized colors for this breed. However, it's important to clarify that blue Pomeranians don't actually have blue fur. Their classification as blue is based on the color of their noses, which feature a subtle hint of blue while their coat color is more of a diluted black or grayish hue. Number 8. Most Pomeranian puppies undergo color changes as they grow. For instance, a cream puppy might become a brown and white adult, and a brown puppy could transform into a bright orange color. Number 9. While most palms typically have brown eyes, occasionally you might come across a blue-eyed palm, particularly among myrtle-colored individuals. But it's essential to note that blue eyes are regarded as a disqualifying trait in the AKC's Pomeranian breed standard, leading to disqualification from any AKC event for Pomeranians with light blue eyes or blue marbled and blue flecked eyes. Number 10. Smaller dogs such as Pomeranians mature quickly. Pomeranian puppies usually reach their full size by one year, with most of their growth happening around 6 to 7 months. Toy breeds like Pomeranians also achieve emotional maturity faster than larger breeds. Number 11. The Pomeranian is renowned for its puppy uglies, an awkward growth phase where the puppy coat sheds and the adult coat replaces it. This transformation can create a quirky appearance with bald spots and unruly fur. But what's interesting is that approximately 20% of Pomeranians experience a subtler transition during the stage, often escaping notice by their owners. Number 12. Similar to many other smaller breeds, Pomeranians can exhibit small dog syndrome, displaying a level of confidence that exceeds their size. So early socialization is crucial to prevent such behavior. Number 13. Another characteristic of small breeds is their tendency to bark incessantly. Pomeranians are no exception to this trait, as they can bark a lot, alerting you to even minor disturbances. This makes them excellent watchdogs, as they'll notify you about virtually anything. Number 14. Pomeranians are highly intelligent dogs, ranking 28th in obedience and working intelligence in Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs. On average, they can learn a new command with just 5 to 15 repetitions, and they have an impressive success rate of 85% or better when obeying known commands on the first try. Number 15. One fascinating fact about Pomeranians is that Pomeranian dams can give birth to twins. It's usually only noticeable to the person present during delivery, because Pomeranian twins can have completely different colors. Each puppy is born enclosed in its own sack, but they share a single umbilical cord. Number 16. Smaller breeds generally enjoy longer lifespans compared to larger ones. The Pomeranian, being a small but robust breed, typically has an average life expectancy of 12 to 16 years. Number 17. Pomeranians, like all breeds, can experience various health issues. These concerns include collapsed tracheas, patellar luxation, hypoglycemia, cataracts, dystochysis, and a rare condition called alopecia X, or black skin disease, which results in the skin turning black and hair loss. 
Number 18. In addition to common health issues in Pomeranians, merle-colored palms may experience deafness, blindness, increased intraocular pressure, ameteropia, microphthalmia, and colobomas. Merle dogs born from the two merle parents can also have skeletal, cardiac, and reproductive system abnormalities. Number 19. Various terms are used to describe group of animals like herd or pride. Interestingly, there's specific terminology for Pomeranians too. When there are just two Pomeranians, it's called a puff. And if there are three or more together, they're referred to as a tuft. Number 20. Pomeranians don't handle extreme temperatures well. Despite their thick coat, they struggle in the cold and may need extra layers of clothing during winter. In hot weather, they're also susceptible to heat stroke. Number 21. These little dogs have various names and nicknames. Alongside Pomeranian, they're also known as Zwerg Spitz or Dwetzer Spitz. They also go by nicknames like Pom Pom, Pom, Lulu, Zwerz, and even Tumbleweed. Number 22. The modern Pomeranian breed is descended from the Spitz family of dogs originally found in the Arctic regions of Iceland. The Pomeranian shares its ancestry with other Spitz-type dogs like the Norwegian Elkhound, Skipperky, German Spitz, American Eskimo Dog, Samoyed, and other northern breeds. Number 23. The first mention of Pomeranian dogs was a diary entry in 1764, when English writer James Boswell wrote about a dog named Palmer in his diary entry, Boswell on the Grand Tour, Germany and Switzerland. Number 24. There was no proper documentation for the breed until it arrived in the UK in the 18th century when Queen Charlotte brought two Pomeranians with her after coming to England to marry George III. Number 25. Originally, the Pomeranian weighed 20 pounds or more. This all changed when Queen Victoria brought one home from a vacation in Florence, Italy and went to work breeding them to become a little lab dog. During Queen Victoria's lifetime alone, the size of the breed decreased in half. Number 26. Queen Victoria was a devoted owner of Pomeranian dogs, keeping a royal kennel of 35 of them. Her favorites included Marco, Gina, and Turi. These dogs had a special place in her heart as they reminded her of her grandmother, Queen Charlotte's beloved dog. Number 27. Marco was a sable and red palm who weighed only 12 pounds. When Queen Victoria first exhibited Marco in 1891, it made the smaller type Pomeranian to become immediately popular and breeders began selecting only the smaller specimens for breeding. Number 28. It was reported that as the aged queen lay dying in 1901, our favorite palm Turi kept vigil at the foot of her bed. Number 29. In 1888, a Pomeranian named Dick made history as the first palm to be entered into the American Kennel Club stud book. Following this milestone in 1892, the first Pomeranian was entered into a dog show in New York. Once the AKC officially recognized the breed in 1900, Pomeranians saw a rapid rise in popularity in the United States. Number 30. The Federation Sinologic International incorporated the Pomeranian and Kiesand into the German Spitz standard in the year 1998. This standard highlights the captive and cheeky appearance that distinguishes Spitz breeds. Number 31. In the United States, the Pomeranian has maintained its popularity as a dog breed, consistently ranking in the top 20 registered breeds by the American Kennel Club since 1998. It reached its highest rank at 10th place in 1998 and at 17th in 2011, but later dropped to 19th place in 2012 and 2013. Number 32. Pomeranians are cherished pets, and their popularity is still evident in the ranking on the AKC's list of the most popular popular dog breeds in America for 2022. They held the 23rd position out of 199 recognized breeds. Number 33. Pomeranians can be quite expensive to buy, with an average cost ranging from $600 to $2,000. Showline palms can even be pricier, often costing $4,000 to $5,000 or even more. Number 34. Palms make great therapy dogs, but that's not all. They are also trained as medical alert dogs for diabetics, capable of signaling during heart attacks. They also serve as hearing assistance dogs for the deaf, alerting them to phone calls and even door knocks. Number 35. Pomeranians can be picky eaters, displaying some unique eating behaviors. Some may hardly touch their food, while others attempt to hide it. Some have a preference for treats or check-in, while others prefer being hand-fed. Number 36. The Pomeranian breed has been a muse for many artists. Frédéric Chopin, a renowned musician from the Romantic period, composed a piece titled Waltz of the Little Dogs, inspired by his friend's Pomeranian dog's playful, tail-chasing antics. Number 37. The renowned classical composer Wolfgang Amand Amadeus Mozart, born in Salzburg, composed over 600 works, including one written for his Pomeranian, Pimperl. Number 38. The renowned Italian painter Michelangelo was also one of the earliest known Pomeranian enthusiasts. Legend has it that when he painted the Sistine Chapel ceiling, his beloved Pomeranian sat nearby, resting on a silk pillow while observing his master's work. 
Number 39, Pomeranians are social media sensations, and one of the most famous was Boo. Before his passing in 2019, Boo had an astonishing 16 million followers on Facebook, and he even became the subject of four different books. Number 40, Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States, had a Pomeranian named Jem. In a letter to his son Kermit, he shared that Jem would occasionally pull his mother playfully like a Roman chariot during their walks. Number 41, the central figure of the Protestant Reformation Martin Luther Luther frequently mentioned his Pomeranian Belfaline in his writings. Number 42, these clever dogs have made their mark in record books. Jeff the Palm holds two Guinness World Records for running on both his front and hind legs. He can run 10 meters on his hind legs in 6.56 seconds and 5 meters on his front paws in 7.76 seconds, earning him two Guinness citations. Number 43, out of the 12 dogs on board the Titanic, only three survived, two Pomeranians and one Pekingese. One of the Pomeranians named Lady escaped with her owner Margaret Hayes in lifeboat number 7. Another unnamed Pomeranian, owned by Elizabeth Bert Rothschild, found a place in lifeboat number 6. Number 44, Sir Isaac Newton had a beloved Pomeranian named Diamond. There's a story that Diamond accidentally caused a setback for Newton. While Newton was close to publishing his Law of Gravity after revisions, Diamond, in an attempt to protect his owner, knocked over a candle, destroying 20 years worth of work. However, some accounts suggest it might have been a gust of wind that tipped the candle over. Number 45, the breed has also appeared in several famous movies, including To Die For, Harlem Nights, The X-Files, Cadillac Man, and Dumb and Dumber. Number 46, Pomeranians are also adored by celebrities. Some famous celebrity Pomeranian owners include Paris Hilton, Sharon Osbourne, Sylvester Stallone, Leanne Rimes, and Nicole Richie. Number 47, in 2014, Paris Hilton, heiress of Hilton Hotels and fashion icon, acquired the world's smallest teacup Pomeranian named Mr. Amazing for $13,000. This petite pooch weighed merely 11.6 ounces and stood at just 2.5 inches tall at that time. Number 48, in a historic achievement in 1926, a Pomeranian named Glenn Roche Flashaway became the first Pomeranian to win the title of Best Exhibit in the Toy Group at Westminster Kennel Club. Number 49, in 1988, a Pomeranian named Champion Gret Elms Prince Charming II, owned by Skip Piazza and Olga Baker, achieved the prestigious title of Westminster Best in Show winner. Number 50, the first champion at the UK Crafts Dog Show was the Sable Mite, a Pomeranian owned by Vale Nicholas in 1905. This marked the era of the best champion title, which was given from 1905 to 1914, and came with an antique silver cup worth 5 Guinness for the winning owner. The Sable Might made history by winning the best champion title again in 1907, becoming the only dog to do so at Crafts. And number 51, the Grand Duke of Russia, Michael Alexandrovich, presented Harry Houdini with a precious gift, a small white Pomeranian named Charlie. Harry Houdini and his wife Bess Rayner, who never had children, showered their affection on Charlie. During Houdini's travels, he always had Charlie by his side and occasionally went to great lengths to discreetly hide him when needed. Alright guys, now which of these Pomeranian facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.